Hi guys, this is Vrinder from iDeserve. Today I'm going to talk about weights puzzle. This puzzle was asked to me in one of my interviews. So in this puzzle we have a set of balls which look similar. One of them is heavier than the other balls. All the balls are supposed to be of same weight but one of them is heavier. We want to find out that heavier ball using a balance here. But the constraint is to use this balance minimum number of times. Okay. So let's look at the first approach that I took. I divided up the balls this way. The first four balls were in the first group, the second four in the second group and the last ball in a third group. Okay. So I weighed the first two groups and assumed that the group two is heavier. And also while weighing I was maintaining a weighing count the number of times that I am using this balance. Okay. Right now we haven't used the balance so the count is zero. So let's weigh group one versus group two. Suppose group 2 is heavier and this is how it will look. What it means is the heavier ball is part of group 2. So we don't need group 1 and group 3. right? So we will throw out group 1 and group 3. What we have left is the group 2 which consists of 4 balls. right? The heavier ball is part of these 4. Now we will follow the similar approach. We will divide this group up in 2 parts and then weigh them. So we are doing the second weighing. Right? We are using the balance for the second time. Assume that 5 and 6 is heavier than 7 and 8. Okay, So the heavier ball is part of this, these two. Still we don't know which one is heavier. Right, We have to do one more weighing using this balance. So in that we find that 6 is heavier. Right, So basically we are using the balance three times. Right, That is a better way to do this. Let's look at the second approach that I took while solving the problem instead of dividing up the balls into 4, 4 and then 1 I divided up the balls into 3, 3 and 3 ok so we ha I had 3 groups of 3 balls each and then again I followed the same approach I weighed group 1 and group 2 first I assumed that group 2 is heavier than group 1 in that case the heavier ball should be part of group 2 right there is only one heavier ball in the so we will throw out group 1 and group 3 and only keep looking for the ball in group 2. Notice that we have done only one weighing using the balance. We will need only more, only one more weighing using this balance to find out the heavier ball. I will show how. So we have only 3 balls left in which we are trying to look for the heavier ball. So we divide it up into 3 parts 4, 5, 6 and then we have 2 cases here. The case one is where 5 is heavier than 4, we know that 5 is the heaviest ball. So we have found the heaviest ball, right? The case two is where 4 and 5 are equal, 6 is the heaviest ball, right? So the number of weighing counts that we are going to do for this approach is only 2, right? Initially we divided up the set of balls into 3 parts and then we found a group of 3. Once we have a group of 3, we have to use the balance only once to find out the heaviest ball, right? These are the two cases and that's it. We can find out the heaviest ball in two beings. That's the answer of this person. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like and comment. Please do subscribe the video. The subscribe button is right below the video. Thank you.